Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial all about lag. Lag 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 lag. It just makes you want to scream. Ah! Well that does me anyway. So what is what we call lag? Well a number of things contribute to lag. Your computer specification, your broadband internet connection speed and how busy it, it is and just the internet in general and how much is going on in the sim you're in for example how many avatars are nearby how many textures are visible how many scripts are running in the sim it all contributes to lag what a lot of people don't realize is that unoptimized textures on content and avatars are a big 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 contributor to lag and i will quickly demonstrate this now for you Right, so I've read the box out here and what we need to look at, we're going to more, more, inspect. Right, so what we're going to look at is your VRAM texture memory and that's what is using up your graphics card. As you can see at the moment it's 1024 kilobytes, texture memory is 768. We'll see what happens when we have no texture on it at all so we just have it as a blank box let's have a look inspect wow look at that it's hardly anything you've got four kilobytes nine kilobytes all together right so let's put a texture on this box that I've uploaded This is a 512 by 512 texture. Let's have a look to see what it is now. Right, it's very similar to a, a wooden box texture. Right, if we put the same texture on a different face, see if that makes any difference. So, same texture on a different face. No, it stays the same because it is the same texture it doesn't matter how many faces you're putting it on now we'll get rid of those textures and i will put on a thousand twenty four by thousand and twenty four texture and see what the difference is on that no not edit wow look at that we've got from a thousand odd on the vram to four thousand 100 kilobytes on your graphics card plus the texture memory 3075 kilobytes that is a big big leap so let's take a little look at this sofa behind us wow so you've got 61,000 plus 47,000 that if you add those together that makes one megabyte of graphics memory that's been taken up you can imagine if there's a whole sim full of these then and plus avatars in your view as well i think you can start to see where most people's lags problems are coming from rather than ramble on about texture lag i have put in the description below a couple of links to blogs that give details on this subject so if you suddenly start experiencing a lot of lag here is what you can do to quickly climb out of it Right, so I've come to a place that has lots of content in it and it's got lots of avatars here. I've put my graphics right up to ultra quality and as you can see, looking at my frame rates, I'm down to 5 frames per second. <laughs> my poor graphics card, what am I doing to it? Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is reduce draw distance because if you look on the mini map so you go to world if I can get the viewer to work because it's dying um, mini map right you see this grey area here that's everything my viewer is trying to draw even if I can't see it myself, 
it will still try and draw it. So there's no point in having a draw distance that's 256. So to help your poor graphics card, just reduce it down. Right, so I put it down to the minimum, which is 32. And already, as you can see, my frame rate has gone up because I'm in a shop and don't really want it that low. But it's really good if, say, you're in a room somewhere in a house, you really don't need a draw distance any larger than 32 meters. Right, so it's still only 1920. We want to get that frame rate up a little bit more. Next thing you can do is reduce your graphics quality. I find that high is pretty good. All you really lose are the shadows. The viewer still looks really good visually. So I put my graphics quality down a little bit, which means I can up my draw distance a little bit and now I can still see the vendors. And my frame rate has gone up to 17 frames per second on average. Still like it to be a little bit more. So we need to do something about these laggy avatars. First thing you could do is reduce the maximum complexity. Say to keep sliding it down. Say, I don't know, to 56. So any avatar that's above 56 complexity you can see there will turn into a solid color and that increases your frame rate well you might say well i really don't want to see these what we call <laughs> jelly dolls all over the screen another thing you could do as we'll turn up the complexity and we can reduce the maximum of non-imposter avatars what that means is say so you only want seven what that means is that only the seven nearest avatars will be drawn properly near to you the others won't be drawn as well there'll, there'll be less lighting and less textures on them so doing that you can see that it brings it round about 20 and you've not had to reduce your maximum complexity so much and you can see more of the avatars. If you're somewhere like a shop and you don't really want to see the avatars anyway, what you can do is you can go into world and then tick show friends only and there all the other avatars disappear apart for anyone that's on your friends list and that should make the frame rate go up quite a lot. You have to give it a few minutes Right, so getting all, rid of all the avatars has put the frame rate doubled it, so it's between 37 and 40 now. If you're still having problems, you might be thinking, well, is it me or is it the same? So if you go to your menu bar and tick show traffic indicator, you get a little lag meter here in the corner. So click the lag meter. And that gives you some indication if your network's working okay, if the viewer's working okay, if the server's working okay, which one it seems to be. There's another way to check. You go Control, Shift, and 1. That brings up the statistics bar. Get rid of that. Okay, looking at the top here, this is you. So you're getting 26 frames per second. Per second. Packet loss is should ideally be zero and what it means is that you're losing some data to do with your internet connection and you're losing some data between you and the server. Now it could be you and your connection or it could be the server itself. If it's the server itself, then everyone will be experiencing the packet loss. Ping SIM, that's kind of like latency, how quickly um, the information gets from your computer to the server. Ideally, it should be 150 or less. You can see it's quite high. And I've noticed on the lag meter that the server 
is struggling. So let's go down and have a look at simulator statistics. Simulator frames per second should be ideally, if it's running fine, 45. Same as physics, that should be 45 as well. And you can see it's like fluctuating quite a lot. That will probably be because there's lots of avatars coming and going all the time. Time dilation, perfect would be one. 0.9 is kind of like normal. So the sim is fluctuating. And even though you've done all your graphics settings to help with lag and you're still lagging, it's probably because of your connection and the server, which it is a little bit here. And before I go, there's just one last thing to mention, and that is to check your bandwidth settings, which can be found in your preferences under network and files. It's important to get this right because having it too low or too high can cause all kinds of problems like TP failure and being disconnected. It's recommended that wireless is set to 500, hardwired DSL to 1000 and hardwired cable or better to 1500. Well, that's all my tips for reducing lag. I hope today's tutorial has given you a better understanding of what creates lag and that I've shown you something that you perhaps didn't know about before that will be able to help you gain a better second life viewing experience. If you like this tutorial and you would like me to do more tutorials, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll keep doing the tutorials for you as best I can. And that's all for now. Just for me to say goodbye and have a good day.